Hey guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to another episode of Dead in Vinland. We're on day three after a pretty catastrophic battle with this evil, evil guy that beheaded people called Bjorn. Anyway, he ended up um, telling us that we had a tax to pay every seven days, which um, right now is wood. So we do have a good supply of wood on hand, but we'll need to keep chopping it to make sure our supplies stay high. As always, we have to look at getting water today and food. And uh, I want to look at some upgrades now. So let's go and let's head to the workshop area and see what we can do. Choose a crafting plan. So if we take a look at crafting plans, you'll see the rest area is the only area that we haven't built yet. Well, there's other areas to build. There's a tavern, which allows us to... What does the tavern allow us to do? Enables drinking activity for two characters, which also enables beer brewing. There's a harvesting camp, which enables fresh fruit harvesting activity for one character. Enables making fruit juice. There's a cooking pot. That seems pretty important, right? Cooking pot, we don't have any rocks for. We can make, enable salt making for food preservation. Herbalist, we need rocks for all of this stuff. Looks like we need more fabric for a healing tent. That seems like it's going to be important as well. Um, so right now, the only thing that we can build for sure is a rest area. Like, we could just straight up build it. Or we can improve something. Uh, if we take a look at water supply, looks as though we can make this. Actually, no. We have to... Why wouldn't we be able to do this? Ah, do we need some sort of better skill set? Hmm. I'm really not sure. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll figure out as we go here. Um, so there is a rest area to build. Let's go ahead and go with the rest area here. All right. We need somebody to be on that task. So I think... We'll We're gonna go ahead and put Eric on that, I believe. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. He's gonna craft in there, that's fine. I think everybody else for now is good. We can't use two stations for anything. Kari the the exploration is quite helpful. I'm kind of scared to get into another encounter, but maybe we'll find somebody that can help us. We could use another worker right now. Um, and it, the game's been hinting around to it, so I guess we go ahead and go next here. So our scavenging is going up a little bit. Got more wood. Good. More rope. More fabric. Tried meals. Cure potions. I like that. Depression is very, very, very high on her. We're going to have to work on that big time. We leveled up to level 2 crafting. Beautiful. Rest area is 56% complete. Fatigue is very high on him. I'm going to have to start resting and stuff too. We got some water. Her fatigue's relatively good for grabbing water right now. Probably continue on that. Okay, we found another place. Good. And her agility has increased. Her fatigue is also manageable right now. So let's take a look at first our spot that we can grab wheat. Let's go ahead and harvest. And he's really good at harvesting. I'm thinking, yeah, her depression is so high. We should probably use some of that, um, some of that honey owner that we found, yeah? Let's, uh, let's, let's see, negative 34%. Wow. 19% efficiency. It seems like I use a couple people for the same things over and over. Let's just try to grab some with her. Best looking sprouts. 
Grab a fistful of wheat. We got a little more fatigue, but we did get wheat. And we got seeds. All right, we'll take it. All right. Um, let's check out the new area, shall we? Dirty clothes. Hmm. Search for the owner. Stealth, baby. Those clothes may have been put to dry aeons ago, but were not put out by themselves. You decide to investigate, see what happened with the owner. You follow the sound of water to a small river. The owner lies there, crushed by a fallen tree. You soon find the cause of his predicament. A beaver dam stands across the riverbed. Death by beavers. <laughs> what an unlucky bloke. That's rough, man. Um, search the dam. Stealth. Yeah. Skill check. Well, at least you found an easy wood stockpile. You get as much wood as you can. Weary of the furry residents. Beautiful. Six wood. That'll help. Tremendously. We can still inspect the dirty clothes or take them. Let's just take them. Um, I'm going to grab them with... Let's grab... Let's take a chance here. Maybe that'll help her improve her... Uh, it's not theft when you take someone else's garbage, is it? Take the clean ones. Take everything. You quickly take everything you can. Fabric. While carrying your loot back to camp, you feel a neck itching. Ugh. Some of the clothes were covered in mold and worms and whatnot. You throw up, clean your mouth, dirt covered sleeve, and resume walking sick of this life. No! <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> Stinky. Oh, we stink now. All right. We have to check out. Let's go back to camp. We have to. I should have just got clean ones, but man, I wanted more fabric. Um, so let's take a look at. Um, let's take a look at giving her some items, cause man, she is in a pickle right now. Oh, sheesh. Okay. Oh, we can raise stats here. I did not realize that was a thing. Oh, new traits. Limping Swordmaster. Battle. Okay, it gives us minus one AP and minus two initiative. Aspiring Harvester. Uh, minus 50% scavenging XP gains plus 100% to harvesting XP gains. Wow. Crafting XP. Plus 50% to crafting XP gains. I like that. Gardening. Plus 10. Call of the Land. Plus gardening beast handling is minus five. I think I'm gonna. He's already a forester. Let's make him an experienced gardener, yeah? Okay. We haven't started gardening yet, but I imagine that a renewable food resource will be good. Uh, let's look at traits here. Experienced gardener. Uh, what is this? Oh, these are new, I guess. Yeah. Minus 15. Percent fatigue decreases. Minus fifteen percent depression decreases. Okay. Huh. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's look at. Uh, let's look at items for you guys. So depression very high, right? Uh, we have twenty-five percent chance of minus forty depression. This is. Plus five depression even adds more. Minus twenty injury, that's pretty good for our buddy there. And minus ten sickness. Um Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to use a few things here. Let's go ahead and use the mead. Vomiting one day. Dang it. Let's try it again. It still didn't. Drink a lot of meat. Dang it! Finally! Okay, we're drunk. Uh, we got sickness fifty-six percent. So now we're going to have to remove sickness. Okay. Depression's a lot lower, so that's good. We used a lot of meat on her, though. Uh, she's vomiting. Has a chance to remove a random disease trait. Hunger increases. Battle. I think we're okay with her right now. Um... Okay, let's look at everybody else's stats, yeah? 
Fatigue, 44. Oliver's stats are pretty good except for fatigue. She just needs to drink. Eric's fatigue is very high. Injury is getting there. Depression is pretty high as well. Minus 10 hunger. We are right on hunger right now. Hmm. I think mostly he just needs to rest. Depression needs to go down, you know, too. But 25% chance is pretty much. Let's try it. Ah, it didn't work. Farming one day. All right. So we got half the staff messed up. <laughs> that was bad rolls. That was very bad rolls. But we're going to have to do it anyway. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see some more about this water, shall we? So we have 7.25 potable. We're going to grab some more. Let's look at... Gotta watch this fire. Okay. At least wood stretch is pretty far here. Okay, we're gonna need to gather more water before we get more water. <laughs> that didn't make sense at all. Okay. <laughs> um, I think... Yeah, we're gonna keep exploring with her. And we're gonna keep building. We're gonna keep scavenging with him. We can keep building. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Let's go ahead and go to the next. Scavenging, good. Leveled up, again, nice. Oh, I forgot to level her up. I need to look at that. Raw vegetables, very nice. And leather bottles. Her fatigue is crazy high, too. Okay. Crafting. Nice. We got the rest area complete. Good. And we're definitely going to nap with, um, with a couple of them, I think. What was that all about? Oh, he put the rest area over there. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> I was like, what did it just flash back to her screen for? Very nice. New area discovered in the forest. Okay, let's check our map. Fruit Grove. Lie in wait. Birds seem interested in the fruit. Maybe you could use them to your advantage to catch some for dinner, or you could try hunting small game. Hunt for birds. What? The 72% chance you hide in the bushes waiting for the birds to come and peck the fruits. You awaken several hours later by the singing of birds. You try to aim to realize you broke an arrow while asleep. Well, that's awkward. Dang it. But I got... I, I lowered my fatigue. Well, it could have been worse, actually. Uh, let's gather fruit. Harvesting is... Her, her stuff is way too, too high. You pluck the best-looking fruit from the surface of the bush, but you see other ripe and further, untouched by animals. Yeah, fresh fruit, baby. Put your hand further in the bush with stealth, huh? 57%? Something's gonna bite me. I'm gonna do it anyway. Yes! Thank you for the good roll. Put your hand in further into the bush to grab the rest of the looking fruit. You grab a handful, but scratch your skin on brambles. We got more fresh fruit. Koala, uh, cola nuts. A uh, little injury. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. All right. Let's check the map again for any other areas. Uh, we have a few more right there. All right, um, so that went pretty good. Let's check on the level. Call the acrobats. Stealth minus five, agility plus 10, experience hunter. Hunting plus 10, injury resistance. I like that. Our stealth plus 10, whirling stinger, battle. Mm. Initiative plus two, AP plus two, accuracy plus five, max damage minus two. Ouch. 
I like the ability to hit better, though. Accuracy 5%. Hmm. I like injury resistance. Courage minus 5, minus 15% to injury increases. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. We really need to get her some rest. We level up again. Uh, call to the forest. Minus 5 mining, plus to more sickness losses. Plus 10% to sickness decreases. I like that. Mind over body. Quick injury recovery. Let's do sickness losses. Okay. There's all my traits and stuff. Stinky for five more days. Charisma is very low. <laughs> you stinky. All right. Anybody else got levels? No. All right. I think it's time to end the day. We just need to f manage our water. Let's check this out. Um, actually, here we go. All right. Let's uh, let's call it there, I suppose. All right, we're fine, and uh, we can look at repairs to camp condition. Okay, uh, looks like water supplies are fine. Water brought is at zero. No debuffs to any of these. We need to build a mining camp really, really soon. Let's take a look at that, building a mining camp. If we go to workshop, choose a crafting plan. Where is mining camp? Because we really need some stone. Mining camp. Uh, we have enough stuff to build it. All right, we're gonna change up there we got enough wood we got 28 wood we should be fine I think we're just gonna end the day here I'm so tired do you even sleep at night with all the bugs these scary sounds coming from the forest when it's raining it's the worst the roof has more holes than cheese I should fix it if we have the resources I'll do it we arranged a comfy bed if you want to take a nap during the day if you are too tired, I prefer that you nap the whole afternoon instead of doing work badly. Yes, a good nap is all I need. The strong naked man like this. If it's not too much to ask, right, Corey? <laughs> if he's snoring like Dad, no thanks. I snore? Ah, sometimes at night I feel the earth trembling. I wake up and fearing Ragnarok is upon us. Wow, that's so true. <laughs> Five days loud snore. What kind of debuff? At least I'm glad to have you taught. Build a camp 3 or 14. At least I'm glad I've taught you uh, how to hunt back home. I miss our hunting trips so bad. There was only you and me and the bow and the target. Nothing else existed anymore, as if time stopped and the gods were watching us. They must have laughed at your first shot, remember? Ugh, Dad, that's not funny. The wind was strong. Strong enough to blow your arrow behind you? Giants must have been at work. <laughs> Blame the teacher. You didn't tell me anything. I didn't want to take that risk uh, that you could surpass me on your first shot. I wanted to keep your respect for a little while longer. I must I must let you have a hard time before giving you all the hints. You'll have my respect forever, Dad. You're the best hunter I know. Aww. Kari's being sweet. You're a sweet girl. Soon to realize that's not true. But until then, you're the best for me, Dad. Oh, that's great. They're bonding and my depression went down. Yay! All right, we got some dehydrated folks here. Uh, 1.25 is where we need to be. Yeah, left with three potable water. That's good. We're getting in, we're getting above. We might be able to. Uh, we max this out. We can start using the water gatherer for something else. You know. We should have plenty of food tonight too. Our depression levels are crazy, man. We need to look to see if we can get depression up. Plus depression. Am 
minus 12 to 18 hunger, dried meat stock. Oh, man. There's nothing that gives uh, less depression that I have right now. Plus, 5% he healthy meal, 2% diarrhea, 10 to 40. And the stock, 4 to 8 hunger. Okay. Uh, this doesn't give any depression, so we should go ahead and feed her. Don't get diarrhea, okay? Uh, she needs big time food here. She's pretty hungry. They both are. Uh, let's see. 4 to 8 hunger, 8 to 18 hunger, 1 to 4 sickness. Sickness for you is already... Uh, it's only at 6%. We can afford to feed you meat. That's good. All right. Glutton. What? Huh. What the heck is glutton? Um, all right. And... You are also in need of quite a bit of food, but your sickness is 23%, so we have to be careful. You get depression from this. Uh, but it didn't. It's 0 to 3. Let's do some more vegetables. Okay. Five, five, eight. That's pretty good. Three. Okay. Let's give you some food now. Sickness went up three? That's terrible. All right. I think we're pretty good now. I probably didn't have to use that, but... Okay. Uh, let's go next. And please, get some freaking depression back. Fatigue minus three. Sickness plus eight. Oh, God. Injury. Depression. You're supposed to lose depression. Drunk removed. Hangover. One day. Vomiting. Zero days. Added starving. Three days. What? Oh, because of the vomiting? Oh, my God. Brain foot zero days is removed finally. Fatigue minus 11. Good. Fire removes. Oh, baby. All right, we lost one more fruit. At least depression is down to a manageable level. Oh, man, what a night. Uh, okay, today's weather is sunny again. I hate to see when this starts getting, like, terrible weather and stuff. That's going to be pretty darn rough. Um, but that's going to be it. For day three, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, give me some dab on that like button before you sh to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. We shall find out next time what happens on day four. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.